Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel Living in Florida. My name is Jose Reyes, your real estate advisor here in the beautiful Sunshine State. And surprise, surprise, I'm located once again in the beautiful city of Ocala, Florida. Now, I'm doing something a little different. I'm not in the Marion Oaks community like I usually am when I'm posting videos from this area. I'm actually revisiting the Rolling Hills area. I did post a video of a house tour in this area about a couple of months ago. You may have already seen it, but I definitely want to revisit the area because a lot of folks call me asking for more land when it comes to a property here within the Ocala, Florida area. And this is going to be one of those areas that offers that. Now, we are going to visit this house that I have here right behind me. This one is 1,927 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths on a 1.16 acre lot. I already did a quick run through to make sure it's a good opportunity for you and your family. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take you guys through and see what you think of this one. This one is priced at $410,000, and I'm curious to see if you think it's worth that money. Well, let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's go ahead and get this one started. So let's go ahead and get this tour started. I am hearing a lot of thunder at the distance and there's a lot of gray clouds coming on top of us right as we speak, but we're gonna go ahead and get this one done for you guys. Now, as always, let's take a look at this driveway here. You have plenty of space to park several vehicles up here in front of this home. And you definitely have plenty of space to park some compact vehicles within that two car garage. Very big and spacious front yard as well. And you got some space this way to kind of pull up. Maybe if you have a trailer or if you have an RV or maybe a boat on the side of the home and uh, plenty of space in the back of this property since it is over a one acre lot. But let's take a look at the elevation here. They provided some nice kind of like stone accents in the front of the home right over here and on either side of this garage. Uh, plenty of windows, probably gonna let a lot of natural light during the day here. Uh, the house might be dark on the inside since it is kind of kind of overcast today, but that's fine. We'll get through it today. But uh, tempered glass, um, you probably can't tell on the video, but tempered glass throughout the entire home, which is great. And this is gonna be two of the four rooms that uh, pertain to this home. But let's come inside. We did say this is listed for $410,000 and I'm definitely uh, eager to show you uh, the interior and see if uh, you think it's worth that money. Now, you do have kind of a front patio area here for you to kind of put some chairs up here if you'd like, or maybe just decorate this based on what your needs are. You do have a nice light in the front here uh, to use some light at night. Some folks might screen this in in order to be able to sit out here throughout uh, the day or the evening and not get uh, any mosquito issues here within this area. But um, let's go into this house. Let's see what $410,000 gets you with this home. So. It is a little dark, I do apologize for that, but uh, it is overcast today, so we're gonna be fighting against that today. But you come in into this kind of small foyer, right? Uh, you have like this little wall uh, divider between the entrance and this space over here, which is gonna be kind of like your dining room space. You have a family space over here, and you have your kitchen. So open space concept when you come into this home as it's pretty normal out here within this uh, Ocala area. Now, split room concept, you're gonna have most of the guest rooms over here, uh, and you're gonna have your primary bedroom, access to the laundry and garage over there. But uh, let's go over this way. Let's start on this side of the home as we always do. Let's take a look at what you get with these guest bedrooms. We're gonna come in to this one over here. This bedroom faces the side of the home, so it is a little darker since uh, we're not getting too much sunlight today. 
But uh, this window faces the side of home, as you can see there, still have a lot of wooded areas, so you don't have any neighbors on that side yet, but uh, that's always can be a potential neighbor. But these rooms, they look like they're 12 by 11, if not a little bigger, but plenty of space for you to put a queen size bed in here and have a lot of comfortable space here. Now you do have your ceiling fans and your light fixture in every single one of these bedrooms, which is nice. The ceiling here is about eight foot tall within this bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now, closet space wise, you're gonna get a standard closet with uh, a standard wire shelf. So you can go ahead and put all your clothes there. You have plenty of space down below. Something you're gonna notice, you have LVP flooring throughout the entire home. I did not mention that when we got in here, but uh, yes, no carpet within this one. Now, we do have a bathroom here. In between these rooms is the guest bathroom slash bathroom that these rooms will be using. You have a single sink vanity. This is said to be granite on the listing. And then you have plenty of drawers down here to go ahead and put all your items for this bathroom. Now those uh, doesn't seem, well, it looks like they're soft clothes, but it didn't uh, adjust them well. Now, good tile work on this shower here. It goes all the way from the tub to the ceiling like we like to see in the builds out here. You are gonna get a medicine cabinet with this one. Not a lot of builders are including that these days, but this one did, so that's pretty neat. But uh, standard toilet in here and uh, good tile work down here. It's not gonna be the LVP. It will be kind of like this porcelain style tile, but it looks like this is matte. It's not gonna be kind of like that shiny porcelain style tile. It looks like it's almost the same thing as you're getting up there. But uh, let's go ahead and come over this way, right here in this hallway. You are gonna have a linen closet. You have one, two, three, four, five shelves within this closet. Plenty of space for you to put all your linens and towels for these three bedrooms. You're not occupying space in your closets. Um, let's come over this way. Let's come over this way. We're gonna to get to bedroom uh, number three of this home. This faces the front of the home. Uh, you're getting some light within this room at least, and uh, pretty much the same space that you get in that bedroom across the ways here. Closet's gonna probably be the same uh, that we saw in that bedroom across the ways, which it is, that it is. So you do get uh, that same wire shelf, and then some space down below for your shoes and other items for this bedroom. But uh, moving on for this house, we're going to come over this way. This room is gonna be located in front of the home as well just outside of the kitchen space. The window is gonna be a double wide window. This is what we saw in the introduction or of the video, right? Uh, double, you know, it's gonna be tempered glass, two windows, double wide, letting a lot of natural light in here, even with, you know, the stormy weather that we're getting. Uh, again, ceiling fan and light fixture. Closet is gonna be pretty much the same size. Well, actually this closet looks Maybe a little smaller, maybe the design of it, maybe it makes it look a little smaller than the other ones, but uh, we'd have to recheck, but more or less the same. But this one tends to, well, this room actually looks a little smaller than the other two bedrooms, to be honest. So I guess because this kind of wall extends coming in a little further in than the other ones. So yeah, this one does look a little smaller, but you can still put a nice queen size bed in here and have some comfortable space. Now, coming out of this one, let's go back into this common area. Let's go ahead and take a look at this kitchen. Um, one thing you are gonna notice that I haven't pointed out yet is you have these cathedral style ceilings. This really opens up this space. It's not gonna be eight foot ceilings like you get in the bedrooms, which is great because it makes the space look a lot bigger than it actually already is. Now, you do have this big kitchen island here, um, granite countertop. I mean, at least that's what the listing says, right? Either way, it's a stone countertop here. Same one that we saw within the bathroom. You are gonna have these two pendant lights to give kind of an accent light to this area. Fortunately, the light bulb, but this one went out and they haven't replaced it yet, but uh, definitely gives more light over that kitchen island. Now, you do have plenty of space for bar stools here. I would say maybe four to five bar stools, depending on the, the design of that bar stool and the size of them, right? Plenty of counter space to put all your food here for the holidays um, or for any other occasion that you have family over and entertaining guests here. 
and you have plenty of counter space over here for prep work as well. Plenty of electrical outlets for you to uh, connect all of your, you know, electrical, uh, all of your electrical appliances here within this kitchen. Now you do have this nice tub style, farmhouse style a sink here. Uh, and one of the great features that I like about this is that you have plenty of space here to do all those big pots and pans. But one thing that I like that they added is this window. So a lot of the families that I've been able to help, they call me and they say, I love the window over the sink and I like to see at least something in the backyard while I'm doing the dishes. And this builder didn't disappoint. And I've seen a lot of builders are starting to add this to the builds as well. Maybe they're getting some feedback that that's what they would like. They have a nice little windowsill right here that's gonna protect us from any water splatter here to keep this dry from the moisture, or at least from that, that sheet rock underneath. And you do get some appliances with this one. You get the Whirlpool stove top here and oven. You're gonna get this uh, microwave. You're gonna get the dishwasher right over here, all stainless steel. And you're gonna get this side-by-side uh, -side, uh, refrigerator. Now, plenty of storage space here. Take out this kitchen island. You have one, two, three different cabinets here. You have some drawers up top, and that is gonna be uh, kind of just standard clothes. Actually, not soft clothes. That's pretty interesting that they went with that. But uh, either way, plenty of storage space down below. And up top, these look like they're 32 inch shaker cabinets with some crown molding up there. It's giving it like a little bit of a luxury look. Now, you do have a pantry right over this way. You have another five shelves here to put all your goodies here for this kitchen. Kind of a small pantry, if you ask me. I've seen some smaller homes have bigger uh, pantries in them. I guess the distribution of it is of uh, this house is what uh, kind of prompted having this smaller pantry. But like we saw, you do have plenty of space and storage space all throughout this entire kitchen. But uh, let's come over here to the rest of the space here. We are still in the entrance of the home. This is that dining space that we uh, pointed out at the beginning of this video. And you have two window, that double sided windows facing, or that double wide window, I should say, facing the outside, the front of the home. That's gonna be that covered patio that we uh, kind of mentioned at the beginning of the tour. But uh, plenty of space here to put, you know, maybe a round table or maybe a rectangular table, depending on what uh, you fit best here within this area. You are gonna have this chandelier that's gonna be on top of that dining room space. So definitely have a nice space here for you to bring your family in to enjoy some meals. Now, right over this way, you're gonna have kind of like the family area. Plenty of space here. You do have that fan and light fixture already there for you. So it's gonna keep you cool through these hot days that we get here in, this, in the summer. Now, you have an outlet over there. Plenty of space to put a, a TV there if you'd like to do so, but they put your cable jack over here, which kind of opens up this nice big wall for you to put big, nice TVs that you guys can entertain. Uh, the family members uh, watching, your, watching your favorite uh, TV shows, sports events, movies, etc. Plenty of electrical outlets throughout this home. So definitely had the made that electrician work quite a bit, getting all these outlets in for you guys here within this home. So definitely have plenty of space to kind of plug in your electrical items here for this property. Now, one thing that I really like about this one is gonna be this huge cover lanai. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what that has to offer. At the same time, we're gonna take a look at the backyard. Now, this is that window that uh, is in front of this uh, or behind the sink. Um, this faces this covered lanai. So let's say you guys are setting up uh, some cooking area here. You've got plenty of space here. You have a barbecue out here. You can pass some items through here if you'd like. Um, you take out the screen or not, if you don't wanna walk all the way around and go through this door, which is not much of a distance, but you can conveniently do that through here. Big space here, guys. You have this fan that's already installed for you to kind of keep you nice and cool during uh, the days here. But uh, take a look at this. You got, uh, I had to take maybe, I don't know, 20 steps over here. Uh, so maybe this is like about maybe 20 feet, if not a little more for this space, which is nice. 
tempered glass on the sliding door as well as you can tell in the video and they have a power outlet over here for you also for you to connect any electrical items that you need out here within the space now you can always get, get this closed out to kind of protect you from the bugs like we probably mentioned already uh, but you have plenty of space out here so this is all part of your property they only cleared out uh, a certain area they usually kind of clear out as much as they need to clear out in order to to build on this property so i'm assuming it's up to that kind of property line right there well not the property line but that uh, kind of tree line right there is all they had to clear out but you still have all that back there it looks like there's a marker over at the end over there so pretty much this walking through this wooded area this is all part of this property now this is going to be on a well most of the properties well all the properties pretty much here within the rolling hills area is going to be on a well and on septic because uh you are not close to any commercial spaces and i guess they haven't kind of brought this area uh, up to the to speed when it comes to connecting to public sewer or, or public water uh, at this point now i am seeing a marker way over there in between the trees so that's going to be the end of this property line so this one definitely goes all the way back to that area we'll have to try to zoom and see what you can see from there but uh, definitely a lot of land with this one let me know down below what you think so far about this house i think it's pretty cool you know how you have plenty of space out here it's definitely kind of like one with nature out here within the rolling hills area you got a lot of wooded area back here let me know what you think of that would you kind of try to clear some of this out do you like this being that way or uh would you kind of clear out half away i think it has a lot of potential if you want to clear out some of this you don't have to clear out all the way back to the property line it still gives you kind of a sense of privacy here within this property uh, but you can definitely build out this area based on what your needs are in order to kind of build some more structures back here maybe build a garage back here if, you, if you're kind of like a do it yourself or if you have a business where you need to bring some trucks in here or you have maybe an rv or a boat you got plenty of space to uh Put some items back here if you want to clear out some more space or you can build a pool out here nice big pool back here if you have children or if you just like to have a pool and have a place to kind of relax this would be a nice backyard to do that but uh let's go back into this house we still have a few spaces to take a look at so far here within this area so let's not miss any of that so we're going to come back right into this home all right so let's go ahead take a look at the rest of this area here. We're gonna come right over this way, just through this door, kind of like a little archway. Now, this is gonna be access to the garage, so let's come over this way. Two car garage for this one. They do give you the automatic LiftMaster garage door opener, and it's the kind that you can scan with your QR code, uh, or you can scan with your smartphone, scan the QR code, and use MyQ, uh, their app, in order to kind of uh, control this garage door with your smartphone, which is great. I've seen a lot of builders starting to uh, use this type of garage door opener system, which I think it's great for, for the consumers. Now, they did put your AC handler out here. So this does take a little bit of space here in the front. So that kind of kind of limits you to maybe parking some uh, compact vehicles within this area or you know you have plenty of space outside to park some vehicle if you want to use this kind of as a do-it-yourself type of space you get a power outlet over here water heater on this side and you have another power outlet over here so if you want to set up maybe kind of like little workstations on either side of these you can plug in some power tools there if anything but uh, let's come back into this home right over this way you do have the laundry doesn't seem like this one's gonna come with a washer or dryer. We'd have to see if that is available with this one, or we can maybe negotiate that, but not a big problem. You can always get something at a decent price uh, somewhere else. You know, we always have some specials with appliances, but uh, you have a standard wire rack or wire shelf up here for you to put your detergents up there as well. And you have this pocket door. I think this is pretty neat. I like these pocket doors because they don't take up space within the space that it's enclosing, right? Uh, you, you, you probably have to open this in here and it will limit your space in this laundry. I mean, it's not the biggest laundry, but you have adequate space just to get in here and get all your clothes done. Now, 
Over here, you do have the primary bedroom, the last room for the house. Now, it is a pretty spacious bedroom, not the biggest I've seen with the homes out here, but you definitely have space to put in a, a king size bed within this room. They did give you these tray ceilings, which opens up this place to uh, maybe a total of nine feet here within this area. Over here, you have kind of like an eight foot height around that tray ceiling. But uh, definitely spacious, two windows facing the back of the home. I can assume you'll probably get tons of natural light in here on a typical sunny day here in Florida. And that's the backyard, as we just were out there just not too long ago. Plenty of power outlets again throughout this entire room. But uh, they look like they give you your cable right over here. So I guess put your TV up there, but I'm not sure if you'd want to put your headboard against that space because you won't be able to fit a king size bed there. I mean, it would just kind of cover some of those windows on either side, which just kind of limits the light and kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, I'd probably maybe put your bed on this side facing this way or vice versa, put this one over there, but then you have it against the, the bathroom wall. But who am I to decide what you do with the space, right? Everyone has to kind of decide what's comfortable for them within these rooms. Now you do have the primary bathroom here, which is gonna come with a two sink vanity, uh, same stone countertop that we saw throughout the, the rest of the home. So you have one sink right over here, or one sink right over there. Plenty of space in between the sinks to put a lot of items on top here if you're the type of person who likes to keep your things organized up here. But you do have all the storage space. So is this a drawer? Yep, you have a drawer right here, another drawer right over here. A lot of drawers right over here, another one and another one. So you definitely have tons of space uh, to put all your items here. Now, you do have your walk-in closet over here, which is gonna give you those standard wire shelves throughout the space. You can always reconfigure this, like I always say, maybe kind of add another shelf down here and kind of raise this in order to have two rows to put your clothes for both spouses here. They do have a pocket door for this one also which is great. So you're not taking up space in the closet, opening up a door into the closet and have to get in, close, and then get all your you know, items and then come back out and close the door again, which I think is a good option. You do have, now you do have a water closet in this one, which is gonna be right here. They have a nice little towel rack for you uh, in this closet. And then you have your toilet dispenser, toilet paper dispenser, which for whatever reason, some builders are not including that with their bills. And you do have a nice pocket door uh, within this one here as well. So you can go ahead and shut this and you're not taking up space opening out into the bathroom or opening into the water closet. Now you do have a linen closet right over here. Five shelves in this one to put all your linens for this bathroom as well, right here within this space. And you do have your walk-in shower. So one thing I do like is that uh, you kind of turn on the faucet over here, water spouts right over, well, the shower heads over here. So you can go ahead and turn it on, wait for the desired temperature, then walk back in and go ahead and take a shower. Now, the same tile work that they used in the bathroom across the ways in the house, have a nice recessed light that's gonna give you some light in order to help you take a shower. And you have kind of like this sink style or pattern, smaller tile down here to kind of help you uh, well, keep you from slipping when you come in to the shower. But uh, that's good. Well, <laughs> you also get power outlets right over here from what I'm seeing on either side of this mirror. But uh, all right, that's going to do it now for the tour of this home. Let me know down below what you thought about this house, guys. Definitely a pretty good option out here within the Rolling Hills area. Uh, good finishes on this one as well, but let's do a quick recap of what we just saw and then we'll go ahead and end this tour.
All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the tour of this beautiful new construction home located within the beautiful city of Ocala, Florida, specifically within the Rolling Hills community. What did you think about this home, guys? I'm definitely curious to know what you thought of what we saw today within this tour. Feel free to put your feedback down below. Now, I thought it had some pretty good finishes when it comes to kind of the stone countertops here. Uh, tempered glass windows is definitely a great touch. That uh, beautiful big kitchen and big kitchen island is something that I definitely enjoy. I like to cook. I definitely like to have a lot of space in order to do some prep work and space to put out the food uh, for the family and guests. Now, that huge covered lanai in the back, which is at least 20 feet long in length, right? Plenty of space to do some cooking outside. I definitely like to barbecue myself. I definitely have plenty of space back there to put uh, maybe a couple barbecue pits or something like that within that space. Set that up for nice entertainment for the guests and family back there too, maybe for the holidays. You have plenty of space in that backyard. They did clear out only to kind of maybe the, the limit or at least to the point where they needed to clear out in order to build this home. So you have a lot of wooded area in the back of this house, but it has great potential for you to maybe clear out some more trees and build some structures back there if you want to build a guest house kind of like a man cave or whatever kind of cave you want to build back there right and you have plenty of space to put maybe some some toys back there so if you have some boats or some rvs or anything like that you definitely have plenty of space to put in the back of this home which is great which is something uh which is one of the reasons why a lot of folks try to buy within this area no hoa no cdd here as well uh, kind of like the Marion Oaks community. So you can definitely have a lot of those items back there and not have any issues with neighbors or any kind of uh, HOA or, or someone who's gonna come and knock on your door and tell you you can't do that, right? But uh, $410,000 for this one, guys. Let me know down below if you think it's worth that kind of money. You do get an acre lot on this one. It's at least 1,900 square feet and some change on the heated area. Four bedrooms, which were spacious bedrooms. That uh, the master bedroom is definitely pretty spacious there as well. And I definitely like the bathroom on that one. Very spacious bathroom. They didn't take away from the space there like they do in some of the builds out here. But uh, I did do some calculations for the down payments of this house, whether you're paying, uh, going to the FHA route if you're financing uh, through the FHA route, putting down a 3.5%, or if you're doing the conventional, putting down a 5% or a 20% in order to limit, to, uh, eliminate that PMI that doesn't really uh, protect you or protects the lender, right? And uh, we do know for the veterans, thank you for your service. Uh, for the VA loans, you do not need a down payment, but you always have to account for closing costs. So whether you're going the VA route, the conventional, or the FHA, or even if you're paying cash, you have some closing costs to account for, which I'm gonna put all that in the description area down below, but you can feel free to give me a call and I'd be happy to go over those numbers with you folks in detail. That being said, guys, if you like the tour of this home, you'd like to see a home just like this one, or you wanna see this one with me, feel free to give me a call at the number that you're gonna see at the bottom of the screen here. You're gonna have my phone number and email there, so feel free to, to go ahead and call me. If I don't pick up on the first uh, time you try to connect with me, feel free to leave me a voicemail. You can also give me a call, or you can also leave me a text message saying, hey, I'm trying to get in contact with you, uh, or that you saw a video of mine and you wanna go ahead and talk about your goals as far as real estate goes, uh, moving here to the Ocala area, or anywhere else within the beautiful state of Florida. Now, I'm also gonna leave a QR code around this area right here. Uh, you can go ahead and scan that with your smartphone. You're gonna have uh, different forms of contact. So you can contact me. You're also gonna have access to my social media platforms like my Instagram. Uh, you can follow us there. We are going to start providing a lot of short form uh, content there also for tours of different houses in different cities as well. I'm also gonna leave the contact information for my spouse and business partner, Gaiden Villegas, down here below. In case you, you're unable to connect with me for whatever reason, I may just be assisting another family and getting them started on their home buying uh, journey, but uh, she's also available as well. She does work with some of our fam the families that we get to help also, because we work as a team, but uh, either one of us, when we get your message, we'd be happy to contact you and connect with you and see what we can do in order to establish a strategic plan for you and your family to get you relocated to anywhere within the beautiful state of Florida. Now, if you do have a house that you need to sell, uh, if you're out of state, we'd be happy to re refer you someone who's reputable in your area to go ahead and represent you on the sale of your home uh, to make sure you get the max profit for your sale. And then we take over and go ahead and help you relocate to a city here in the beautiful state of Florida. Now, 
That being said, if you are living here currently in the beautiful state of Florida and you do need to sell your home in order to relocate to another area in Florida, we'd be absolutely happy to assist you in selling your home to get the maximum profit with the sale of your home and we can go ahead and help you relocate to another area and plan that strategically so you don't have to wait or move into another space while you wait for the build or the finish of your home or the closing of your brand new home but uh, that does it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed this tour if you did enjoy this video enjoy the content on this channel feel free to let us know by hitting that subscribe button give us a like hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i post a video on this channel helps me helps the channel by uh, getting these videos out to you guys as soon as it comes up on the channel and it also helps getting these videos out to other folks just like yourselves who are looking to take advantage of a great opportunity like this one here within the beautiful city of Ocala or anywhere else within the beautiful state of Florida. Other than that guys thank you once again for joining me on these tours I absolutely appreciate every single one of you who have supported this channel it's made it what it is today it continues to grow and we are actually definitely excited to see it flourish and not help a lot of folks and seeing these homes from the comfort of your home but other than that guys thanks again take care stay safe i'll see you on the next home tour